Hi everyone, it's Kelly. Um, I'm here with a quick share of my stick pin um, matchbook holder for a giveaway that I'm currently in. Um, it was a challenge held by Mel from 12 Hearts 17 or Hearts 12 17. Sheesh. Um, anyways, here's my little um, creation and I'm just going to get right to it. The um, image and the sentiment are both Stamping Bella and um, I purchased them at Joann's quite a while ago. Um, I used my Copic markers to color her in and my um, Spica Glitter Clear to do her wings. You can't really see it here in the video but um, her wings have a bit of glitter. Not as much as Stickles, just a very light hint um, of glitter. And then of course the paper tape. Um, I found some of these little little um, tags at Joanne, no Michaels, and they came in packs like this. And you could probably still get them. I bet you right now they're probably, you know, starting to, to mark these things down. Um, I left it blank. That way you can, um, the recipient, you know, maybe they can use it for, you know, something else. So um, there's that. And then I just used, you know, cardstock. And again, I, I did the matchbook style. Um, my pins were a bit large. So, um, I should have, you can tell, I should have made, made this area a little bit smaller, but again, this is my first time doing this, so, you know, now I know. Um, the tutorial that I watched, it said it was for a three inch stick pin, but I didn't take into account all the crap that you put on the actual stick pin. You know, it, it makes the pin go higher. So anyways, and my pins are all glass beads, so they're fairly heavy. So I added a little bit of foam um, inside there to reinforce. I was going to put, you know, like a piece of paper around to cover it. But, you know, sometimes you just got to know when to stop. <laughs> and um, like I said, you know, with each challenge, um, I'm learning. So there's, you know, just the little... I actually made this to go on the front and so I made you know ten of these up but then I realized I had this stamp and I love this little sentiment but I didn't want you know the little love sentiment to go to waste so I just popped it on the back so and then the cardstock is basil and it's textured okay now let me um, come back a little bit. To be quite honest with you, this is really the real reason that I'm doing this, is to do a bit of explaining. <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. Can you guys figure out which one is not like the other? <laughs> yes, people. This is a toe. And yes, Oops, it has a toe tag. And this is a glass bead. And, um, yeah, I just couldn't help myself. Um, I've already started receiving in some of the pins from the swap. And all the ones that I've received, they're, they're beautiful. I mean, they're very classy. Um, you know, almost like shabby chic. Kind of, you know... And I am just, I, I do not know how to create things like that. Um, I'm, I'm finding that I'm more whimsy, cartoony, cutesy, I guess, and different. Um, really, I'm not a morbid person. <laughs> um, I actually bought these pins, or the beads, to um, use with my dolls. And when um, this challenge came up, I thought, oh, 
I'm totally going to use these because I can guarantee nobody else will have one like it. And if you do, somebody needs to give me that person's name <laughs> so we can, you know, do some sort of other swap. But um, anyways, it, these were a lot of fun to make. Um, I wish I would have taken a little video when I had all 10 of them on my desk with all their little toe tags. It was it was so funny. My husband walked in and was like, what in the hell are those? And, um, you know, I don't know. It's, it's fun. It's funny, you know, and I think, I think it'll look great amongst all your shabby chic stuff. Just pop it right in the middle. <laughs> so, um, anyways, that's that. And, um, I hope everybody that receives my little gift, um, you know, enjoys it and gets a good little giggle out of it because for me that's, you know, what the whole point of all this is. So again, there's my little card and um, that's it. All right, you guys have a great day. Toodles.